Hey guys, so today I'm coming to you live with a haul. I haven't done a haul in quite a while. This is mainly a Mac haul, but I've got some goodies here and there that I want to show you as well. So let's get into it and let's in, let's get into this. Um, oh, I want that video. Okay, here's what I got for Mac. I've got um, probably my most repurchased item ever. It is the Cream Sheen Glass in a Boy Bait. This is like the perfect nude. I love this so much. And the Cream Sheen Glasses do not stick on the lip. They're more of a creamy formula. Next, I purchased the uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in NW30. And I love this a lot because it's... There's a lot of orange in it, so if you apply it underneath the eye, it's just fabulous. Now, of course, this is a little bit too dark for me, but believe it or not, but last week I was faux tanned to the max, and I mixed this with my NW20 and NW30, and it just gave me the perfect amount of coverage, and it just counter-reacted the blue to the best of its ability. So d these I have maybe like eight in my pro kit different shades but i love this love 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 this it doesn't budge eyeshadow in jest it is a frost color it is um a frosty pink oh it's like a nudish pink with a blue undertone i kind of love it and i'm going to use it for a demi lovato uh, makeup tutorial so be on the lookout for that next uh I can't, bl I can't remember the collection, but I got the lipstick Ablaze, which is a beautiful, fiery, um, I would say, fiery coral color. So beautiful, 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 and it is a matte. Then to go with it, I bought the Ablaze lip pencil for MAC as well, same color. Then I needed a new kind of... Uh, pink, not neon pink, but a pink lip liner from um, MAC, I bought Embrace Me. And after I bought the chrom chrom chromographic pencil in pure white. Now, I bought this because I heard a lot of good things. And people said, oh, it's like almost the same as uh, Fascinating Eichel from MAC. Or if it's not better, I tried it. I still like my Fascinating better. So... I'm kind of like on the verge of giving this to somebody. I mean, it's a very, very good pure white, but on the waterline, I still prefer my Fascinating. After, I bought um, some new palettes from MAC, and I depotted, you know how I stored my lipstick in like the tubes? I bought the palettes. I bought this palette from MAC, so I depotted my lipsticks. I kind of love this, to be honest. Um, I just need to get used to it, but um, of course I love the tubes, but I needed to unscrew them and if they would fall, they would break. So this is definitely more pro-friendly to put in your kit. And I just melted my lipsticks and, uh, you know, on this side it's like warm colors, this side is like um, blue undertone colors. So I kind of love this. Purchased all of the extra dimensional skin finish and I'm going to start with the darker color. It is called... Shape the future, and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's two sides. There's like this side could definitely be blush, and this one could be a highlight. Together, it gives a beautiful, beautiful kind of brick. Um, I would say like a brick color. Um, so I love this. Next, you have um, it's kind of a soft gold with a a blue undertone. This is defined, definitely, definitely defined. So, of course, once again, you could use this as blush and this as highlight or just mix it together and gives a beautiful highlight. And now the next one, I wanted something very close to Whisper of Guilt. So everybody's talking about Whisper of Guilt and Whisper of Guilt. And I have one in my kit right now, but I wanted to get like backup. So I bought the uh, Double Definition. Everybody's raving about it, saying it's uh, like identical to Whisper of Guilt. Actually, it's not identical to Whisper of Guilt. This is definitely more bronzed, as you can see. This, I find that when you mix the colors together, it gives a beautiful kind of um, a bronze, like a bronzer. Of course, there's there's shimmer to it, but because this is kind of a jelly formula, it melts into your skin, so it's not like particles, it's not like specks onto your skin. So this is a beautiful bronzer. If you use just the softest 
bronzy color over here. It's close to Whisper of Guilt, but it's not the same. So, um... If you want to review like about the two products, like like this versus Whisper of Guilt, let me know and, and I'll do it. It's going to be like a short video. But if you're looking for something identical to Whisper of Guilt, this is not it. It's close, but it's not it. Then I got two blushes. Uh, I got a beautiful kind of um, peachy mandarin color called Blazing Oat. As you can see over here, this is beautiful. I love this. Um, I found with the blushes, I've got two, so I found with the um, extra dimensional blush you need to kind of pack on the color. If you're fair, it's, it's fine for you, but if you're a darker color, darker complexion, you might want to like, like apply a lot. So there's two lighter colors. This, um, my colored ladies, um, you could pull this off. Of course, if you're like NC45 and up or NC40 and up, you need to build this up for show. Uh, of course you're gonna have that glow but if you're looking for the color payoff you might want to look for something else. If you're underneath like NC and W35 you can pull pull this off. Uh, I've got a very light blush. The other one is called Bareness and it's exactly what it is. It is almost a bear. If you're very fair you're gonna like this and it's gonna give you a very kind of light dewiness but if you're over I would say like NW and see NW25, you might want to pass on it because this is a very, very light. You definitely need to build it up. So pass on a bareness or even the other light colors. I think there's five mineralized blushes. Well, extra dimen extra dimensional extra dimension blush. After I bought uh, two mineralized skin finishes finishes natural, I bought a medium and I bought a, I believe a medium dark, which I think one of my friends borrowed it because she wanted to try. Girl, you're my best friend, but I need a back, girl. You know? Okay. So this is all my MAC purchases for the last two weeks or so. Then I went to Winners. Winners in Canada is a store that I think it's like TJ Maxx in the States. And I found these amazing amazing products that I always wanted to try, the Scott Barnes Beauty Bling. Now these are very much alike the Melanie Mills Gleam, which if you went to IMAX New York, she's always at IMAX New York, but this is basically a um, like high highlighting cream product for the face and uh, body. Now Scott Barnes released this I think a couple of years ago. There's a platinum edition and original. Original is definitely more for darker complexion because it is quite it gives you a tan at the same time it's not a self tanner but it there's a tint to it and it gives you just a beautiful glow and the platinum edition is more of a soft bronze rosy gold color so it i can definitely pull it off but this is also gives you like a light tint so i love these but what the per the reason why i purchased these they were only twenty dollars each if, yeah, $20 each, and if you go on the internet, I think on his website they're like over $40, and yeah, they're, I think they're $45 each, so when I bought these, I'm like, okay, I'm buying both. And while you're we're at it, I'm going to show you my biggest purchase. I'm going to back up because this is a huge girl. It is a man bag from Zara, and um, this is what it looks like. And believe it or not, but I'm going to use this as my... Uh, train case. Um, I'm going to use this for my pro kit. Yes, I know it's like, ex this is some sort of, well it's not expensive, but um, it is quite fashionable for a train case when you do makeup, but I like to be fashionable when I do so. Maybe not so practical, but that's just me. So this is real wet leather, and you have like some hardware over here, and what I love about this is there's wheels over here, and on you have a, if I can see, this is super practical. I love it. Of course, it's like not your everyday train case for makeup artists, but I loved it. When I bought, when I saw it on the website, I was like, oh girl, I'm going to get it because it's just too fabulous. And every time I go like on the job, everybody's like, oh, where did you get that train case? I'm like, first of all, it's not a train case. Second of all, it's not a girl's purse or a woman's purse. This was in the Zara's men's section. Okay. Yes. So when I, when I saw it, there was a lot of other things that, like the same style. So they were, 
those pouches over here as you can see they're big and there's the same hardware over here and I bought four of these now okay this is somewhat expensive because it's real leather and you might be like crazy because you don't want to ruin it but I'm using it you know I believe these were 40 or 50 each so I got four and they're just the perfect size to fit like either your powder products right now I have nothing in it because I just cleaned my case but um, there's like little pouches here and there and they're just so practical I mean you just put it in there of course I have my other clear little bags that I put in my bag but this I love like I love I think I'm gonna label them somewhere maybe on the inside over here but um yeah I've got four of these this is amazing I love this it matches and everything and then I saw this they call it like a men clutch a men's clutch and it looks like this and you can just put your hands like this. And this is still in the men's section, ladies and gents, if you're watching. So like this. But when I bought, when I saw this, I'm like, this could be really, really useful in my kit because you know sometimes you have contracts, and this just fits your um, your paperwork so so easy. Like it just fits right in there. It's big enough. And also when I saw it, I'm like, I'm gonna put my iPad in it. So here's my iPad. So it just fits perfectly. And of course, there's a little pouch here, if you can see. But anyways, if you want like more details about this bag, let me know. I'm gonna put the details in the info bar below if you want to know the prices, because I can't really remember. I believe the bag was like a hundred and over a hundred and fifty dollars, and I believe this was like fifty or something. So basically, now I have. Oh, I just love this so much. It's super durable. Oh, get into it. I'm just like crazy, and it's. In the men's section, Zara, your U European style, I love for accessories, but your Euro European cuts, girl, I need to go up a size, okay? I don't like that. But anyways, so this is my newest purchase. I love it to death. Mm -hmm. So that was, um, I need to stop talking. That was my haul for you guys, mainly Mac, but uh, I've got other things, but I'm going to do like reviews and like special videos for them so i'm not going to show you guys like urban decay products oh my under eye itches so um that's it for now so i'll see you guys very soon in another video bye